All right, guys, I want to take a second and show you how we keep our eels alive. It's so simple, it's really ridiculous. Basically, an eel can breathe through its skin, so you just need to keep it wet. You don't need to keep it in water aerated. But if you leave them standing in one inch of water, they'll die, they'll drown. So the trick is soak a bunch of towels, stack up a bunch of towels, just throw them on there, saturated towels. If you put a gallon of water in there, make sure you put enough towels to soak up that entire gallon. So basically it keeps it all wet, but there's nothing they can drown in. So if you look down in here, these have been in here for a week. So every time we come in, we just throw a bunch of wet towels on them. But if you look, you can see there's really no standing water. So make sure the towels, you have enough towels to saturate up the water and they'll do really, really well. Just don't leave an inch or two of standing water in there because it will drown them. And that's it, before we leave, we just take all the towels out and then at night when we come in, we drain the well, throw the towels back on them. That's it, these last forever that way. All right, we just got back to the house and we have a bunch of eels that we've been using all week. So you saw earlier, I showed you the eels in the bottom of the live well with the wet towels on it. Well, I'm actually gonna leave the boat sitting here for about four or five days. So it's gonna get cold here. I don't want my eels to freeze. Now the well is insulated. If you can check on it and make sure it doesn't get you know way below freezing, the eels will do fine with the rags for a while. But if you're gonna get below freezing temps, especially if it's like a deep freeze, you're gonna need to fill the well. So fill the water all the way up to the top, as much water as you can. Salt water is the best, of course. You can use fresh water and add a little bit of rock salt, like pool softening salt. Just make sure you throw some kind of aerator, some kind of bubbler. Here with this, we have a system where we can throw the switch and it recirculates. So you can see all that fresh water getting recirculated and uh, the Venturi out uh, valve adds nice air. I don't know if you can see the eels down in there, but they're very, very happy. It's nice with the Seapro. Show you. Live well, if you go all the way up, it pumps water in from outside. If you put it in the middle, it turns it off. If you go all the way down, it recirculates. It pumps from the bottom of the well and pumps it back in through the top with the venturi valve that I added to add air. So let's turn it off so we can see, or let's turn it off in the middle. You can see the fish a little better. See the eels a little better. So the blue valve right there is recirculating. The white pumps in fresh. And you can see how high I filled it. I filled it so there's really no air. Just a regular air stone in a pump is fine. Just keep some air going to them. It was a live forever like this. All right, it's been about five days. I left the eels sitting here with the pump running. It's been cold, so I'm sure they're fine. I'm sure this water's nasty. You can see how nasty the water gets. It's been nice and cold, so. Yeah, we're moving slow. See how nice and white they get? I know a lot of people don't like that. I love it. Some of the best fishing I've ever had is on eels when they've gotten nice and silver. They sit in this well for a long time. And uh, because the well is a light color, they become a light color. I swear in that dark water, especially in New Jersey, when those silvery eels hit the water, they really stand out. You can see the water's nasty. I've tried changing the water out before. And I always did more harm than good. I swear, leaving them sit, I've had them like this, seriously, with just a water pump for six months. <laughs> I actually brought them inside one time and threw one in an aquarium that lived for years. They're pretty tough animals. We're gonna get them out in the water in the morning and see what we can do.